welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video. Today, it's been a while, but we're going to be checking out a brand new offering from Super 7. Now, as in the past, I've usually done whole wave videos. I've started to really pick and choose the figures from these TMNT Ultimates, but this one was definitely a must-have, and of course, I'm talking about the Triceraton, a favorite of mine from when I was a kid. It's just the Triceratons in general. Now, they're going to have the slipcase cover. You're going to have that usual TMNT Ultimates window box packaging. And of course, like I said, this is the Triceraton. He doesn't have a name. He is just the orange Triceraton. And that's all he needs to be. On the backside, you get to see the brickwork, the graffiti, the foot soldier marking, everything. And then, oh yeah, you can read up on this hard-headed horned hoodlum. I like that alliteration right there. Very cool. Now... Real quick, mine came in from Entertainment Earth, and I do highly recommend them. Like I said, I use them myself. As of this video, the Triceraton looks to be a popular number. He is back ordered, but you can still pre order him, and I'm sure that they will get more in stock. Usually, when the new Super 7 Ultimates come in, they jet out and then they trickle back in eventually. They also have, and we'll be taking a look at this one as well, the Gorilla Gorilla, which I'm really looking forward to because it's actually a new character that has never received an action figure before. No, it's not Sergeant Bananas, but we we will have some TMNT Ultimates later on in this week to look at, as well as some NECA ones. Speaking of which, because the Triceraton is out, if Super 7 is not your TMNT go-to, and perhaps NECA Toys is, or any of the other 50,000 companies making TMNT figures, Entertainment Earth definitely has what you need. And they've implemented new shipping, which is $8 flat rate, or over 99 bucks, it's free shipping. And plus, as always, if you use my links down below and the item is in stock, which a lot of these new TMNT Ultimates are, you're going to get an automatic 10% off. So a happy shopping to you all. So definitely give Entertainment Earth a look-see. Highly recommend them. Use them myself. Guarantee you'll find something there that you like. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. Straight from Zan Ramon, we have the brand new Super 7 TMNT Ultimates, the Triceraton. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging. And what is a very welcome sight is that it's a rather large action figure and he has a rather large number of accessories and for the price point, that's what I'm looking for. Like this big, huge, giant gun that is basically bringing the old accessories to life once again in true Super 7 at TMNT Ultimates fashion. I love the paint that they got going on here. Now I've already attached the hand, just easier that way, it's easy to swip swap. That's what I likes to do, but the paint alone is Supoi. And yes, if you were wondering, Triceraton definitely holds his weapon beautifully. There's no trigger finger, so no trigger finger to contend with. It's just good old fashioned Playmate Super 7 action. But like I said, the colors are amazing. As with his secondary weapon, which all the angles, all the sharp, jagged edges to it, and again, that beautiful paint job, that's very cool. I really like what they did here. And just like the other, Yes, he holds this one as well. So again, it brings back all that old school Playmates toys fun. And I particularly like the silver paint that they have chosen, especially for the armor on the hands. It's very reflective. So overall, things are looking really good for this figure. I'm stoked. And yes, as he can wield both blasters at once, that looks awesome. Like he's in a shootout with the TMNT. Now, this particular accessory is very cool, but it's also very hindered, unfortunately. I like the idea of what they're going for, but not necessarily thinking it was executed rather well. Trying to get the straps buckled, the, they're kind of misshapen, unfortunately, the holes to the pegs. And it's a rather large accessory to the Triceraton's wrist. That's another thing. But what you may think of as a Nintendo DS right there, it actually opens up and it's more of a predator bomb <laughs> kind of thing, which I totally dig it. It's got some cool colors to it. You could push all the buttons and slide it and destroy Arnold Schwarzenegger easy peasy. But like I said, putting it on his wrist, it looks good from afar. Don't get me wrong. And yes, it's only going to be one wrist suitable, 
but the straps are too big. It doesn't exactly fit. So it's kind of a little bit too big for what we're going for for this Triceraton. He also comes with two grenades, thermite, gas, maybe they explode, pizza pops out, who cares? But they have a nice silver to them along with a nice strip of purple paint. I totally dig that, nice details to them. And yes, with the accompanying hands, Triceraton can hold both of them beautifully. Now, this is an interesting one to be sure. It's a dead rat. <laughs> Can't say this one came with the original Triceraton, although there were some on his belt, but nice coloring, X's on the eyes, as macabre as that is. But yes, you can see that this Triceraton definitely hates rats, probably hates Splinter, but it's an odd accessory to be sure. He also comes with this, basically a laser sword that pops out of his wrist. Because of the shapes of his gauntlets, there's really only gonna be one side that you can fix this to, but this works a whole heck of a lot better. It is still kind of cumbersome to clip them together. I do wish that the sword was removable. I think that that would have been kind of cool to do, but it is a clear plastic and it overall just looks pretty gnarly, and I like when it's on his wrist. I think that that is very befitting of a Triceraton, and it looks really cool. Like I said, in holding the grenades, yes, you have grenade holding hands, rat holding hands, and all the paint looks pretty stellar. And that's an overall positive I wanna give to this figure right off the bat. It's a welcome addition to have really nice paint on a Super 7 TMNT Ultimate. This right here, though, is one of my favorite accessories. It's a Xanramon, Triceraton, breathable. Let's say they can't really function on Earth's atmosphere, so they need their own atmosphere. And it's just really cool. So it's a mass. You got this little gadget right here. It's all silver. I do wish that was painted a little bit better so you could see the little blip, blip kind of marks. That would have been kind of cool. And you got the strap right here of which you can just simply asfix to the face of Triceraton. Oh, so beautifully. And then the little doohickey clips on to his belt. So overall, that is pretty darn solid. I love that they included that. I love the clear plastic tube. It's a rubber type piece. That is very cool. That is thinking outside the box. That's what I want to see with TMNT Ultimates. With the actual figure, like I said, it's a giant, massive Triceraton as a Triceraton figure should be. But I'm happy to say that the paint, the heftiness, everything is there that I would expect for a TMNT Ultimate. And I lament the fact that it's taken this long to kind of get such a cool action figure, one that really capitalizes on, there's no loose joints, the paint is great, the accessories is great, it brings these characters to life, and I love it. Now, of course, in every action figure, there's gonna be some gripes here and there. I would have loved to have seen an articulated jaw, but I love the head shape. I love they've kept the old school nature of this Triceraton, and I love the teeth, they got a little dirty wash to him, it makes him look gross. And that, again, is what I think about with the old TMNT Playmates, it's the grossness. Now, you're not gonna get a lot of head articulation out of him, it's gonna basically just turn left and right. You're not gonna be able to put it back, really, at all. It just kinda jumbles into the back of his armor. He's got all those head folds. The silver paint, the little red Triceraton triangle right there, the blue accents. Everything looks really cool. Everything looks perfectly painted. This, this is what I've been talking about. The nice thing is if you don't want the belt on, it is removable, just like my old figure, which I've definitely lost to time. You have some silver for a weapons ammo sort of deal. You got the whole grenades right there, and you've got two dead rats because well, this Triceraton likes to eat rats within the sewer, and you got the belt buckle and it clasps shut, and yeah, overall, that is just a cool accessory in and of itself for the belts. Now, to see the Triceraton without the belt, it kind of looks weird, I would definitely keep it on. This gets kind of gappy right here in the legs, but I'm happy to say that, look, the legs are stiff. You can even get them in a seated position if you want. They go all the way up. So that gapitude is necessary and I don't really mind it for the articulation it provides. The feet are nice. They got ball joints. He's got his toenails did. They have all these rips in the pants and it looks good. But the one thing right here about the knee and I'm gonna let this go, but I don't wanna see this again is the miscolored pin right here where the joint is, it should have been orange, that looks really weird. But in the totality of what I'm thoroughly enjoying for this figure, 
It's a minor gripe at this point, but let's work on that most definitely. Another thing, like what I said with the jaw, the tail is great. It really aids in standing him in some wild positions. It's got a great sculpt to it, and the paint is nice. But this is the type of figure where you could have definitely had a segmented tail, and I think that's a missed opportunity. That would have been really cool because essentially it's just the old figure now kind of resized instead of having the old figure and doing something cool like you've done with the rest of the figure. The backside has some silver paint with his armor, all the folds in his head. The arms are nice. Now, one thing about the arms is that you'll get them going all the way up. That's no problem at all. Plenty of rotation there. You got single jointed elbows. They'll rotate the wrists, yada, yada. Not so much in the bicep. The bicep is there, but it doesn't really work. It kind of cuts into the rest of the arm. So, yeah, it's one of those where I know bicep, a lot of people like it. And if it works, it works but doesn't really aid this figure, if anything. And I like the different gauntlets on either side, the spikes, the purple, the hands. They really did a great job for this Triceraton. Now, if you were wondering, how does he scale with the rest of the Super 7 TMNT Ultimates, like the Ninja Turtles? Well, yes, he is a giant figure. And let's be honest, Triceraton is obviously a nod to the Triceraton of the Mirage comics, Zog. And so you could put this Triceraton with the bad guys of the Super 7 Playmates Toys kind of figures, or you can just have him tearing it up and defeating Shredder's minions alongside Raphael. And speaking of Zog, now a big point of contention with Super 7 is always their price points. And I'm happy to say that for the price of 55 bucks, this matches NECA's Zog. NECA's Zog was 50 bucks. With this Super 7, you finally get that sense of 55 for a giant figure and all the accessories. That is well done. And in a case of crossbreeding your TMNT, yes, this Triceraton will go well with your Mirage, let's say Fugitoid or the Utrams or any number of the turtles in the figures. He kind of has that cartoony look enough to fit with these. He's an oversized figure, and yes, will go really well with your NECA toys offerings. But of course, to always see what has come before as to what we are getting now, I'm happy to say that this is a beautiful update to the character known as Triceraton. Not necessarily having a name, he's just the one and only. He is the Triceraton. So in that sense, that is a great update. The paint, the accessories, the taking of the old school figure, making it something new. Could have added a little bit of articulation, like I said, in the jaw, the tail. Some of those things would have been nice. And then, yeah, fixing the knees so that the pin color lines up. But overall, I'd say it's pretty darn solid. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Super 7 TMNT Ultimates Triceraton. It's a great figure. I love this thing. I had my high hopes and my fingers crossed for this one. But like I said, it's kind of a bummer to have gone all this time, all these different waves. This is a nice turn. This is a great addition to your TMNT Ultimates. There's no loose joints. The paint is good. And it's just, again, a bummer that it's taken this long to kind of implement that. And like I said, I definitely recommend it. I think he's a great addition to your TMNT Ultimates line. He's a lot of fun. The accessories make this figure. He's awesome. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Triceraton. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, stay tuned. We have some more Super 7 Ultimates a coming. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.